Hello, I'm Kevin Costner. Welcome to 500 Nations. The settling of this country has always been of interest to me. It's fired my imagination and shaped my life, both personally and professionally. But my knowledge of history has been limited by what I was taught. As far as I was concerned, the history of the continent started 500 years ago when Columbus discovered the New World. But we know that's not true. There were people here. So how is it we know so little about this past, the human history of North America, our own story? Could it be that we don't think it worthy of mention, the way history has remembered the ancient civilizations of Greece, Rome, Egypt, or China? The truth is we have a story worth talking about. We have a history worth celebrating. Long before the first Europeans arrived here, there were some 500 nations already in North America. They blanketed the continent from coast to coast, from Central America to the Arctic. There were tens of millions of people here speaking over 300 languages. Many of them lived in beautiful cities, among the largest and most advanced in the world. In the coming hours, 500 Nations looks back on these ancient cultures, how they lived and how many survived. We turn for guidance to hundreds of Indian people across the continent. You'll meet many of them in our programs. To bring the past alive, we searched archives for the oldest and most authentic images of Indian people. We sought out rare books and manuscripts for the actual words of participants and eyewitnesses to history. Our camera crews traveled throughout North America to film at the actual places where important events in Indian history occurred. We filmed incredible treasures of Indian creativity from museums across North America and Europe. Historians and archeologists work with visual artists and advanced computer technology to allow us for the first time to walk through virtual realities of ancient Indian worlds. What you're about to see is what happened. It's not all that happened and it's not always pleasant. We can't change that. We can't turn back the clock. But we can open our eyes and give the First Nations of this land the recognition and respect they deserve, their rightful place in the history of the world. With that in mind, we take you first to where our story ends, on the Great Plains in the late 1800s. The rumor got about the school. The dead are to return. The buffalo are to return. The Lakota people will get back their own way of life. That part about the dead returning was what appealed to me. To think I should see my dear mother, grandmother, brothers and sisters again. But boy-like, I soon forgot about it. Until one